Hey everyone, this is Some Nerdy Guy back again with another video already because uh, <clears throat> Limited Run decided to send uh, three packages my way all at the same time. So uh, more content for me, I guess. I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, one of these things was something I ordered all the way back in January and just now getting here. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we got this little one. So not one. Not two, but three. So, another limited run games unboxing. Couldn't think of the word. I just took, like, the biggest dramatic pause ever to say that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because after I said, I was talking to one of my friends, and I was saying how long I've been waiting for some of these things. I'm like, man, why haven't I gotten any of this yet? And then all of a sudden, I just kept getting email notifications from limited run saying they were sending stuff out. So... Pretty cool. Uh, a good jinx, if you will. So I got my trusty Books Couture, Books Couture there. Uh, I'm going to start with the little one. Uh, the big stuff, I remember exactly what's in these. Um, I don't remember what's in these. In this. In this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I remember. For some reason, I thought it was more than one game. It's not, but that's okay. Um... And show the pamphlet that they gave. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, I'm completely blanking on the name. Cosmic Star Heroine. Is that what that is? That's what it looks like. Oh, it's on the back. I was right. <laughs> so that's cool. And the game is Super Epic. The Entertainment War. I don't know. It looks like a goofy Mega Man style side-scrolling platforming game. I watched the trailer for it before buying it um looks cool uh and this is the uh badge edition comes with a uh, pin set right there so that's pretty neat i enjoy that so yeah cool i'm excited for that okay now i can't remember which is which out of these so we're just gonna do this one first and see what it is Looks like this box was a little damaged, so hopefully whatever's inside is not damaged. Okay, I was not expecting this to be this big in size. Uh, and same with the other... Okay, so... I'm going to show the smaller one first. Uh, the smaller one, I was actually... I think I just flashed it on the screen, that's okay. Uh, this, this is the smaller one, and I was actually expecting this one to be bigger... Uh, so I'm kind of disappointed of how small the box is, but that's okay, because I'm sure it's still... I mean, it's got all the goodies inside, so... And that is Brigandine. Uh, what was this? Uh, the Legend of Run Runersia. So yeah, there's that. I'm, uh, I think it comes with, like, you know, your typical posters, soundtrack, art book, probably... I can't remember. It's been so long. It was so long ago when I ordered this, and I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, that's how long some of this stuff takes sometimes. It's kind of irritating, but, you know, I get, I understand the process. It's a whole process that they have to go through to get everything organized and get all the resources and the licensing and, like, all that crazy stuff. Okay, now, this is the one I thought was going to be just the game and... There was like a couple other things that came with it, but I didn't think it was all that extravagant. But it was expensive. I won't lie. It was expensive. And that is the collector's edition of Clannad on the Switch. Now, this is based off of, it, of an anime, a uh, pop, pretty popular anime. Uh, one of my friends, this is his favorite anime of all time, my buddy Josh. Um, but yeah, this is a visual novel based on the series. Um... I don't know. I thought it was really a really cool concept. Um, I've always wanted to watch the anime. My friend Josh always told me that I need to watch it, and I never have. But I'll play the visual novel of it. I'll probably play it with him. I'll ask if he wants to play through this. We'll play through it together. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be better to watch the show first and then play this, or vice versa. I don't know. But it's in a big box. Like, this, comparatively... Look at that. <laughs> and this was only like, this 
this was only a couple dollars more than this. And the boxes are just like so different in size. It's weird. But there's all the characters on the back there. I don't know. It's really cool. I'm happy with it. I like it. I uh, just wish that the Brigandine one was a bit bigger because Brigandine's a pretty epic game. I like Brigandine on the PS1. So, okay, now this, now that I know what those are, this I have been waiting for since January. Um, I remember the day that I ordered this, uh, my mom was actually going into the hospital for surgery, so I remember that, and then, I, like, that's how I remembered that, how, that's how long ago it was. I was like, holy crap, it was all the way back in January, the beginning of this year, and we're I'm getting it at the end of, the, pretty much the end of this year. So that, this took a while. And these both went on pre-order on the same day, so that's probably why I was able to get them both at the same time. Um, sometimes it takes a while for one thing to get completed, even though the other one's been done for months. But um, these both were at the same time. Oh, that's so cool. And they're both by the same developer. It's way forward, so Shantae, all that cool stuff. Um, okay, so we get two trading cards. Oh, I got trading cards in here and I didn't even realize. Or I got one. There's a trading card for Bring and Dine. I don't know if Lanad had one or not. No, Lanad did not have one. Okay. Um, so, these will give it away, but that's okay. And there's the other one. Cool stuff. Okay, so, we got Mighty Switch Force Collection. Again, I thought this was going to be a bigger box. Look how tiny these boxes are. I thought they would be a little bit bigger. I, I don't know. That's just like a little complaint that I have. I just thought they'd be a little bit bigger with how extravagant they made it look when you're ordering it. They like It comes with all this stuff. You'd think it'd be in a big box, like the Clonad one. And then the second one is in a big box. And I guess I should expect this one to be pretty big because this one uh, comes with plushies of both of the main characters. And that is Vitamin Connection. It's really cool. I like the big boxes. I like the big boxes. Give me the big boxes, not the little boxes. But um, there's two, uh, not the characters, but two Japanese people on the back. And that's cool. But there's the characters. You can get the little little characters on there. So that's neat. Um, what do, I kind of wish they would have done a little bit more at the back side artwork. Because, you know, Mighty Switch Force, it shows like all the games and cool screenshots of the game and stuff and then you just you get you get people on there that's you know it's cool i guess but you know it's whatever and i'm still happy to have it i'm sure it's a super fun game it's a very uh very co-op heavy game so i'll have to find someone that wants to play this with me um one of these times i have to do like individual videos on some of these things so i can show like everything that's inside because i uh which is probably what people who do watch these videos are probably wondering like why don't why doesn't he show anything he just shows it sealed and then just like puts it away and then that's it well i don't know i just don't want to take up too much time just sitting here unboxing everything and i don't know maybe it'd be better to do like a review maybe on some of these games and then show off like what's inside if i have the collector's edition of it show off everything that's in it i don't know i have very limited time on the device that i use to make these videos i just use my phone so <laughs> i don't have that much time and there's an issue with the sd card slot on my phone it's not really reading sd cards I tried to get one as soon as I had the phone, and it just would not read SD cards. So I don't know what's going, what was wrong with that, but that is the reason for that. So if it weren't for that, I probably would like unwrap all these and show everything that's inside. But um, I don't know. I guess that just allows me to extend my content because I can make a specific video for a specific game and show everything that's inside of the collector's edition boxes and everything. So. I don't know. It could be cool. So I am extremely happy with all of these games that I've gotten today. And uh, the last one, Clonad there. I'm, I'm happy with all of it. So yeah, hopefully I'll be getting more of my limited run stuff soon because I've 
uh, I've ordered quite a bit and I've only gotten a handful of things. Um, I'm really excited for all the Shantae stuff that's going to be coming out. Uh, they did a release of the original Shantae game on Game Boy Color and uh, Risky's Revenge and uh, Seven Sirens was one that came out a couple months ago. I was really excited for that, which I could buy all the, the games digitally, but I, I just really like having the physical copy and an I'd rather not buy the game twice if I don't have to. So I just, I'd rather just wait for my copies to come in physically and just play them that way. And that's the way I want to do it. And if you don't agree with that, then that's fine. I get it. But um, the only way I'd buy it twice is if it went on sale for dirt cheap, which it has happened. And I have, I'm not saying I've never bought a game twice. I definitely have. But um, if I don't have to, or if I, if it's less convenient, I won't do it. So yeah, that's my stance on that. <laughs> so uh hopefully you enjoyed this video if you want to like comment and subscribe all that fun stuff and until the next one see ya